episode, we're going to talk about Lotto's new single, Big Mama, and why I feel a way about it. Now, the song is dope. Like, over the weekend, I was listening to a lot of the new rap girl songs, because a lot of them released over the weekend, right? So I listened to Lotto's Big Mama, and I was like, all right, that was cool, next. But it was like, it didn't have replay value to me. But I didn't know why I didn't want to listen to it again. So I listened to it again to see why I didn't want to listen to it again. Then I had an epiphany. Now, I'm saying Lotto, everybody know Lotto can rap. She was on the rap game when she was younger. And that's a show I never watched. I wasn't watching reality TV when that came out. So I went back to watch it so I could understand the Lotto that I see today. So it's like nobody will debate with you that Lotto cannot rap. She can rap and she make pretty good music. But the reason why I didn't want to listen to it because it's just like, who is this? I don't really feel like she has an identity. I feel like she goes with what's trending. I don't know. Now that her sister is smashing Drake, now that song sounded like Drake. Then in the video, you showing text messages of you texting a guy, but you with your sister the whole time. It would have been nice to see a guy counterpart in the video since you talk about, you know, all that shit with a guy. Then the beat changes and then the big mama, big mama, like that shit catchy, but I don't like it because it don't seem authentic. So now y'all want the title of big mama without the weight figuratively and physically okay because when i think of big mama i think about the dang original matriarch of the black family i was talking to one of my um producer friends about this like we was like if you had a big mama in your family that you remember you like the last of a dying breed of people like the big mamas of the family was like, they was like the first few set of descendants from slavery. So the big mamas, they worked hard, but they were still nurturing and they was just that shit. Also, big mamas played a big part in black culture and black music. If you look back and study your history... When I think of Big Mama, I think of, you know, the Big Mamas in the black family who always kept the family together. I think of Soul Food, bitch. I think of motherfucking Big Mama Thornton, who Elvis stole from. You feel me? So when Lotto, um, a, a small mulatto girl is screaming, Big Mama, Big Mama, it make me feel like, bitch, prove it. Prove it. How are you Big Mama? Just because they called you Big Mama when you was little at your um, sixth birthday party. Because you got a little sister probably that, you know, you probably acted grown. And you probably acted like, you know, I'm a big sister. Yeah, because she always have her sister Brooke with her. Bitch, I'm still not convinced. And I really listened to this shit. Like, the only thing she kind of mentioned and hinted on... um of having Big Mama vibes in the motherfucking song is she saying, I can cook. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the Big Mamas in the family could throw down, okay? And a lot of them, they had that motherfucking arm to let you know off rip she gonna whip up a big old tasty batch of collard greens, neck bones, cornbread, okay? All that blackity black shit. <laughs> so it made me wonder did Lotto ever meet the big mama in her family did she have a big mama in her family or her dad's side because I know her mama white so you know she ain't had no big mama on her mama's side did she meet the big mama on her daddy's side did he have one then I think she pay attention to the comments too much because now she ain't wearing makeup because she was reading the comments when people saying she look old as fuck with makeup and she is beautiful she look beautiful you know what I'm saying? Either way, but the makeup do kind of make her look older. So now you can see in the video, she's not wearing makeup. Even at the BET Awards, she wasn't wearing makeup. 
<laughs> then the BT Awards, her set, the wind blowing in her hair. And she, she's just a little extra. Like she doing a little too much. Even though she can rap. Her personality is not really likable. It's just like, ugh, girl. You can rap and you can make good music. But you would I wouldn't want to kick it with you or hang out with you. Because you seem like the, one of the type of girls who probably get on my nerves by the end of the night. Now, I feel like Ice Spice is actually more likable than Lotto. And uh, Ice Spice can talk well. Like when she get an interview, it's like she been damn medium trained and shit. I know she hasn't. But, you know, she a little more classy. And Lotto always got that, that hood rat draw. And it make me feel like is that forced or is she doing that because she feel like that's what a rapper should do? I don't know. It's very strange. And I'm saying all this because I be really trying to like Lotto. I be trying to give all the rap girls the benefit of the doubt. But it's just something about Lotto. It's like, bitch, I'm not calling you Big Mama. All right. I feel triggered. Cause I miss my real big mamas in my family. Okay. They dead and gone. Because the big mamas in the family, that's where all these people be getting these movie role ideas from. Big Mama House, okay? Um, Tyler Perry with Medea. They are basing these characters off of real life dang people in, black, in the black community and black culture. Like, the big mama in my family, they literally called her Medea way before Tyler Perry came around. And they was real gangsters, okay? But they was still nurturing and could cook. They was the every woman, okay? She will make you some motherfucking homemade beer, all right? Cook you up some good-ass gumbo. But don't fucking play with her because you will have that boiling hot water splash on your face, okay? <laughs> So the chanting of Big Mama, it kind of sounds like uh, a summon, uh, that she's trying to summon the black African American ancestors who was the real Big Mamas of the generations. So this is what I came to the conclusion. R Lotto can rap. She makes good music, but her personality cannot convey the music like it needs to be conveyed. And that is the key to having good music you are seeking to convey a thing she is not doing that so that is my problem with lotto big mama no you will not be a big mama in my book and shout out to the real big mamas who have been in the black community big mama thornton if y'all don't know that's where elvis elvis career she was the foundation for elvis presley career he just stole her shit she didn't get as much money and fame as Elvis. So that is the, the feeling of the big mama. They didn't get the recognition they deserve when they contributed to the, all the black culture that we see today. Period. The big mama, the big church lady who can sing. Okay, that she the type they'll have her on the song and then replace her with the dang models nowadays, IG models, so they can have this certain look. So it's like you want the big mama name without the look? No, nah, bitch. Grow them ham hock arms and then whoop us up a batch of some good ass collard greens that you probably grew from your garden okay because big mamas they could do everything and i'm gonna stop this rant today i had to get this off my chest okay because i don't play about my big mamas period oh before i go i forgot the usher performance lotto pissed me off I forgot it made sense. I was like, okay, now I see why you're, when I put on your music and I try to play it back, I feel cringe. It's cringe. It's too much to do. She was not taking that shit serious at all with her rapping Ludacris' verse on, yeah. What was that? It pissed me off. Like, why was it only women contributing to Usher? So this is what the legends of my generation deserve? This shit? She was messing up and laughing about it. Like, you're not taking it seriously. Like, girl, bye. Whose idea was it to have Lotto come out on that Usher tribute? Fire him now, okay? 
the BET Awards was basically an all-female show. It made me think like, dang, where is all the men? Is they dead or in jail? It's like, because hip-hop is so corporate now, we forget that hip-hop is actually black culture. We see what's going on in the black community by looking at these award shows. Where's the men? Okay.